Today on the show, a special how-to episode on how to speed up your slow-ass iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. I'm James Papadopoulos, and this is TechSpeak. I have a confession to make. My name is James Papadopoulos, and I don't have the most recent iPhone model. You see, Apple releases a new iPhone around once a year, and my upgrade contract is around once every two years. And that, there's no way I'm gonna keep buying new phones every year. You hear that, Siri? Bitch. Anyway, in an effort to help some of you get some more usefulness out of your old iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, here are a few tips on how to speed things up. Number one, the most annoying thing about an old iPhone is the text messaging app slowing down. This is actually a problem with a lot of phones, Android and Blackberry too, and the iPhone is no exception. The way to speed things up for the app is simple. Just get rid of old conversations. You can do this by going into the text messaging app and scrolling to the bottom of the list of conversations to see your oldest ones. You'll probably be surprised at how many you have from years ago. Then tap edit at the top of the screen, then the minus button next to the conversation you want to trash, and then delete. Just keep going until you get rid of a bunch of old conversations you don't need anymore. This is a really easy, simple way to speed up the text messaging app. But wait, there's more. The next tip helps you speed up the overall performance of the OS, but it comes at the cost of a few features. So this is more for people using older devices. You can turn off Spotlight Search if you don't use it, and to do that, go to Settings, General, Spotlight Search, and then tap each of the items off and they won't be indexed. Next, you can turn off notifications. To do that, go to Settings, Notifications, and then pick the apps you don't need notifications for and turn them off. My next tip seems simple, but people don't think about it that often. Trash those old apps. A lot of apps take up a lot of space. And you can do this by holding down the icon of an app and then tapping the X that appears over it. You can also manage apps from within iTunes. Just go to the app section when you sync your iPhone via USB and start trashing. While you're freeing up space, you might want to get rid of some of those old video podcasts, movies, and music videos. You can do that in the movies, TV shows, and podcast tabs within iTunes. Simply uncheck the option to sync them if you don't need them. Another tip that you might hear a lot is to close open applications. While I won't get too technical here, the way the iPhone OS works, when you're not actually in an application using it, it doesn't really affect performance. It's not like a computer where you have a bunch of stuff open and it uses a bunch of RAM. But you can close open apps anyway if you want to by pressing the home button two times quickly and then holding down the icon of the app you want to close and tapping the X on top of it. Just keep tapping the X's until all the apps are closed. But like I said, I personally don't think this will speed anything up. Finally, if you're really desperate to clean things out, you can wipe your device and start from scratch. Just plug it into iTunes, click on the restore button, and give iTunes some time to clean it out, and you can start with a clean slate. Unless you back up and restore your settings though, you won't have your contact, emails, and messages, so make sure to do a backup before you erase it. Hopefully, using these tips, you can breathe a little more life into your iPhone, iPad, or iPad Touch. And when all your friends start buying whatever new crap comes out, you won't be quite so jealous. That does it for this episode of TechSpank. Thanks so much for clicking play. I'm James Papadopoulos, and I'll see you next time.